All right, so today I'm going to be talking about no man's land. Now, when I shared with Eric and Rachel that this was my topic, they were like, um, you got to give us a little bit more to work with here. Like, what in the world? Is, what are you talking about? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to that, but to get you here, I have to take you guys back to college. I want to emphasize that before Gustav Eiffel was able to build the tallest building in the world, before he was able to create something iconic that a hundred years later, kids like me traveled halfway across the world to go see, he spent five months on a foundation. How's your foundation? How many of you guys would say with your business right now, you have a big, hairy, audacious goal? How many, how many of you would say you have that? You don't have to share it, but how many of you kind of say there, there's something, it's not something you might attain, this year, you might not even get there next year, but you want to get there. Okay, so that's most of us in the room. Wonder Woman was brave, and she, she stepped out of the trenches, and she literally started to cross no man's land. I thought that was a little bit on the nose. Like, no, no man can cross, so the woman went across. You know, But even Wonder Woman could not cross no man's land, though. Even Wonder Woman could not cross no man's land. You, you see the part where she was like pinned down, pinned down by the fire? until she got some help. For those of you who've heard me talk before, you know how inspired I am by Walt Disney's personal story. I was a little African kid growing up in Nigeria, introverted, shy, felt broken. I didn't know my place in the world. And then my parents took me to Disney World and I said, wow, one guy thought of all this. He dreamed this all up. And look where we are. Try to imagine what the world was like before Disney World and Disneyland and imagine the audacity of a man to think that, no, I can actually make this. That's you. That's your business. That's your blog. That's your magazine. That's your video series. But how are you going to cross that no man's land?